Hello, I'm Mimi. I'm a huge introvert, but I've learned how to utilize my quiet energy over the past three years to build a small online business as an illustrator and content creator. Let me share with you my three main tips that helped me grow an audience of over 250,000 followers across YouTube and Instagram that I think will help you too. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on that later. Of course, not all introverts are the same. We all still have our unique traits, but generally we recharge our batteries by being alone. We can be quite private and we like to spend time in our own worlds, which doesn't always seem like a natural fit with social media. But because we can be so private and introspective, we have great ideas and make fantastic creatives when we find a way to express ourselves. And that's a powerful thing to be able to share with a community. So how do you grow an audience online if you're an introvert? Tip number one, be as private as you want to be. You don't need to compromise on your personal boundaries to grow an audience on any social media platform. So be as private as you want to be and it'll be much more sustainable for you to create content that you and your audience love. Being introverted isn't the same as being shy, but a lot of us don't love to be in the spotlight and the good news is that you don't have to be. Whether you're making YouTube videos, Instagram posts or TikToks, only show as much of yourself and your life as you feel comfortable with. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to. You don't even have to be in your content at all. You could make it completely about your art, your process, something that you'd like to teach or whatever it is that you want to share. As long as you're providing value to your audience and giving them a way to like what you share as an artist or creator, then they'll have a reason to subscribe or follow you. And that's the main thing for growing a community online. I personally never speak directly to camera in my YouTube videos or on Instagram because that's a boundary that I've set for my videos that could potentially be seen by hundreds of thousands of people. It just feels a bit too personal, so at this stage I'll only talk to camera for smaller things like in video courses maybe, and for everything else I just work around that boundary. There are lots of content options that are great for growing your audience that don't require you to talk to camera or even show your face. Remember, it's about providing value, which you can do with things like entertaining, inspiring or educating. You could post your art on its own or you could post behind the scenes of you making your art. You could showcase your art process with an over the shoulder shot that only shows your hands. You could teach by recording your screen only or with a top down view of your desk. You could share your journey with vlogs that don't showcase too much of you or are entirely point of view. And you can provide insight with simple animations and motion graphics instead of filming anything at all if you really want to. If you're looking to improve your skills for social media, then I want to quickly tell you about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with lots of classes for creatives like us and they're perfect for introverts because you can learn privately from the comfort of your own home. They even have some curated learning pathways to help you master a certain topic like this one called Video for Social Media Create to Engage Your Audience which has over 3 hours of videos specifically selected for you to learn how to create videos but also make them engaging so that you can grow your audience. The first class in the series is a really great place for understanding what value you're going to provide your audience and some basics of video production as well. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can watch these classes today for free. And because I want you to get the most out of your free trial, I've personally curated my own list of classes that I've watched and think are a really great place to start, so I'll leave that info in the description. But specifically, if you're wanting to build your art income, then I thought that these classes had some really great foundations to get you started. Thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's move on to the second tip. Tip number two, don't show up online every day. Us introverts have to be mindful of how much social energy we're spending by showing up online and growing our audience so that we can avoid burning out. 
You can love having a community and connecting with people, but we recharge our batteries by being on our own, so we need to make room for that too. Even when I've been at my most active online, aside from the occasional challenge, I always make sure that I'm taking time away from social media to recharge. I drew every weekday on Instagram for a year to grow my account there, but I still had weekends off so that I could rest and recover creatively and socially. It doesn't always seem like it's using social energy to be online because it's not face to face, but responding to comments, sending DMs and posting content are all social when you're posting on social media. The platforms run on social currency and on getting attention from people, so it's good to be consistent and regular when you're growing an audience, but naturally it gets a bit tiring for introverts, so make sure that you're not pushing yourself to show up online every day if it doesn't feel right for you. It takes a long time to grow an audience, so it needs to be something that you enjoy doing and is sustainable. If you try to do too much too quickly, you'll probably burn out, whereas if you can take a more balanced approach, you'll be able to see it through when things feel slow. It's a classic tortoise and the hare scenario. You can be consistent and regular on social media and also take breaks to recharge. Now tip number three is use your introvert superpowers. We all have something unique to offer the world and especially as introverts, we spend so much time in our own thoughts that we're in a fantastic position to share insights with our audience. I can only make these videos that share tips and ideas because I spend so much time in my own head and thinking about these things. So harness the positives that come from being an introvert as something unique that you can share. For you, it might be your unique art ideas, or a thoughtful way of teaching, or meaningful writing. I think that being an introvert is a really great thing, and it comes with a lot of positives that can be utilized in growing an audience or business for yourself. In a world full of clickbait and impulsive voices, use your thoughtful, introspective energy to bring calm to your audience as a point of difference from all the noise online. There are lots of people who are similar to you and want to hear what you have to say in the way that only you can say it. So put out content that will attract those people and you'll be able to grow a lovely community that celebrates your introvert qualities. I hope these tips can help you on your journey as you grow an audience online as an introvert. Let me know in the comments if you consider yourself to be an introvert, although I imagine if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you are. Thanks so much for being here and watching this video. Give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!